Miss Amelia at the library and today I'm going to show you how to make salt crystal leaves. All right, so this is one of my leaves that I've had sitting for a couple of days and it's already grown some salt crystals. You can see that they're hanging off of there, which is pretty cool. I just wanted to leave it in my jar so you could see what it looked like and what your project will look like when you finish. So this activity is a take and make this week, so you can stop by the Columbus or Saluda Library to pick up a kit that has a pencil, two pipe cleaners, um, it will have a bag of salt in it, and if you're wondering and want to duplicate this at home, this is going to be a half a cup of salt. You can always add more salt if you want. Um, and then there's also a sheet of paper in your bag that has different types of fall leaves. And that's gonna help you determine what kind of leaves you want to make for your project. So mine kind of looks like an oak leaf, I think. That's what I was going for. But you can make any kind of leaf that you want, okay? So to do this activity at home, you are going to need a container like a jar or um, something that you can, that's glass, that you can leave sitting for a while so you can watch your crystals grow. And you'll also need an adult's help to use the stove and boil some water. If you um, want to use a microwave, you can also boil water in there too. Um, but you're going to fill your jar up, whichever jar you end up using, whether it's one that looks like this or one that looks like this. You're going to fill it almost to the top, maybe right here with water, and then pour it into your pot and let the water boil. The next thing that you're gonna do is add your salt, and your salt has already been pre-measured for you, but I'm measuring mine right now. This is going to be half a cup of salt, and I'm gonna put it in the boiling water, okay? And when I do that, I wanna watch it and stir it, and make sure that the, water dis uh, that the salt dissolves completely in the water, okay? You want to make sure that you can't see any of the salt once it's finished. So like right now, there's still some salt that I can see. So you want to keep stirring it until it's all dissolved and it looks just like regular water. Okay. While you're waiting for your salt to dissolve, you want to kind of keep an eye on it. Um, and you can keep stirring it, but you can start making your leaf for your project. So. You'll want to take one of your pipe cleaners and start shaping a leaf. And again, you can make any kind of leaf that you want and use the leaf sheet that's in your take and make kit to shape out a leaf, okay? I'm just kind of freehanding my leaf right now. I think it's gonna be another oak leaf, okay? So I've kind of shaped it and I'm gonna twist it back on its little tail there. That way it stays nice like a leaf okay i'm gonna go ahead and attach my other pipe cleaner to it just by twisting it together and this is gonna make the leaf stick to my pencil and that's what's holding my leaf up on top of the jar okay so i'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and just twist it around the pencil until it's the right size to fit into my jar. So I can test that and see that's a little tall, so I'm gonna shorten it just a little bit. And no, I might make it a little bit shorter. There we go. Okay, so we'll take that back out and we'll wait on our salt water. It looks like the salt has dissolved, which is exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Now, this is also where you're going to need an adult help because you're going to pour your water into your container. Okay, it's very, very, very hot. You can see the steam coming off of this. Okay, I'm going to turn my stove off. And now I'm going to stick my leaf right down in my container and the pencil will make the leaf stand up. So that's perfect. And you're gonna wait 24 to 48 hours for your crystal to start growing. And once it's grown, you can take it out, you can let it dry, and you can hang it up in your window. Have fun.